Previously on the Awesomes. Awesomes, I've come to warn you. Mr. Awesome is evil. He must be stopped. And that is why I have decided to run for president. Why is he running for president? He already has the power to do whatever he wants without winning some dumb election. That's what I thought. But then I remembered there is one reason he would need to win an election. The destroyer bullet. If your blood is an 80% genetic match or above, that should make your blood strong enough to cancel out the serum. Higher than I thought it would be. What if we use someone else's blood? A stronger hero. It has to be the genetic code that comes directly from your father. But I don't have any siblings. Well, actually, maybe you do. Hotwire, where have you been? Are you okay? I'm fine. <sighs> Actually, maybe I need to sit down. This badass just broke into Awesome Mountain alone, and boy, did she get some info. I wasn't alone. Concierge got me through it with her drone. Drone? You brought Jeffrey? Oh, did ah. someone call my name? I was organizing my jazz albums by beats per minute. Get out of here, Jeffrey. Jeffrey! What kind of info? Dad, you said that in order to reverse the serum in Mr. Awesome, you need the blood from his children. It turns out Proc is not the only son he had. <gasps> A folder! I'm guessing there's something inside the folder, Frantic. You might want to save your gasp for that. <gasps> a folder! You know, I collect folders. That looks like it's in pretty good condition. I think right over here. Jeffrey! What is it? This is the secret file that Fuego gave me. I didn't look at it because I trusted my dad. Perfect man is Mr. Awesome's son. <gasps> Nothing! I'm sorry, wait, what? Oh, did I miss the gas? Mind, why do you have to drift? Which means perfect man is my brother. Half-brother. Buddy, are you okay? How can my dad keep this a secret? If there was ever a kid that needed an older brother, it was me. How could he be such a bastard to deny me that? And pit us against each other all these years. Honey, long before your father took some serum and became evil, he was kind of an asshole. Yeah, you know the saying, dads are like assholes. Yours is one. I haven't heard that saying. It's pretty famous. The truth is, Jeremy, it wasn't about you. It's about him. He needed to be the great Mr. Awesome. And if that meant keeping his love child quiet, so be it. At least you knew who your dad was. Perfect man spent his whole life not knowing the truth. I thought my dad was a hero. But he's not. He's a villain, and he always has been. <sighs> Can I say something? Park, you are a smart boy. But sometimes you got the brain of a dummy. You need to understand that everybody's not just heroes and villains. Look around this room. Hero, weirdo, hero eating a hero, ex-villain, and possibly ghost husband, another weirdo, hero slash traitor slash hero slash pregnant lady. Everybody's got a little something something. But one thing we all got is that we are looking to you to tell us what to do. Because you are Pork, the leader of the awesomes. Thank you, Lady Melogio. It's Proc, but other than that, you're totally right. Proc? Ha 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 ha! That's a silly name. I'm sorry I took so long to see the truth about my father, but that's over. So let's get started. First things first, where's Perfect Man? He's trapped in a chamber in a vault buried deep in Awesome Mountain. Oh, man. Ooh, I love chambers. You want to see my pewter chamber collection or my Chambers of South America coffee table book? Jerry! <laughs> this feels awesome. This feels awesome. Yeah. So thank you, America. I promise I have plans for you. Very special plans. I'm sorry, Mr. President. He just barged in. Apologies for the intrusion, Maury. But I just saw you on TV. Super speed never gets old. Wait, do it again. All right, all right. Amazing. Now to the matter at hand. I'm going to need access to the destroyer bullet ASAP. Access to the destroyer bullet isn't granted to the president on election day. It's after the swearing in. That's months away. No wonder everyone complains about Washington. Everything moves so slow here. People complain? I thought it was doing a good job. So let me tell you how this is going to go. You're going to tell me where the bullet is, or I'm going to melt your brain with my heat vision. Thanks for the info, Maury. Always a pleasure. Okay, if we're right, my dad will be trying to get his hands on the destroyer bullet. That means now is the time for us to attack Awesome Mountain and break out Perfect Man. I'm back! 
And? It's done. Okay, now once we neutralize the new awesomes, we break out Perfect Man. We get his blood, then we somehow trick my dad into agreeing to a blood transfusion to turn him from an evil prick to just a regular prick. And how would we do that? I don't know that part yet. Now, describe the container Perfect Man was trapped in. About eight feet tall, window pane on the front, cold to the touch. Sounds like my ex-wife. You don't have an ex-wife. The ice prison. You know it? I designed it. Great, so you'll know how to get him out. There's a code, but I don't know it. No problem, I'll rip it open. To break the locks without a code, you'll need something stronger than even you, Muscle Man. Like an atomic blast or a sonic boom. A sonic boom? Gadgetgale, Sumo, Muscle Man, Frantic, Impresario, head to Awesome Mountain and show them who's boss. Malokios, come with me. Ooh, are we going out for frozen yogurt? No, we're going to a family reunion. Yes, Mr. President. And while I applaud your decision-making for placing this call, I derisively boo you for your cowardice in revealing the secret location of the bullet. What's that? Well, it was meant to be a cutting comment, so you didn't take it the wrong way. Good day. Attention all staff, we have a code five in progress. I repeat, a code five. A code five? That sounds bad. But as for your staff, I'm afraid they're all, how would you say it, incapacitated. Hmm, I'm sorry to hear that. Now, what can I help you with? I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you're the one entrusted with the destroyer bullet. It makes sense. You've always been the kind of person that loved keeping heroes like me down. Oh, I just think power should never go unchecked. But as for the bullet, I'm afraid the president led you astray. It's not here. Well, then you wouldn't mind showing me what's in the safe that's hidden behind that painting. <laughs> Your eyesight is as good as ever. It's always so sad when lesser heroes try to stop the real thing. But I was just one. What happens when all of them rise up against you? <laughs> this bullet was the only thing that could stop me. That imperfect man. And he's safely locked away. Well, you know what they say. Pride cometh before the... Look, is there any way you could set me down? It's impossible to make a point at this angle. Though it is great for my core. Sorry. Seems a little humane for an evil villain. I just wanted you to live long enough to see the world the way it was meant to be seen, with humanity enslaved and heroes in charge. I hope you know what you're doing, Proc. Can we stop at my apartment? If we're going for frozen yogurt, I'd like to get my customer card. We're not going for Froyo, Mom. We're getting the one person that can break Perfect Man out of that chamber, and he's in that prison right there. Maybe he knows Malokio Jr., cause he lives in that house too. Yes, that's... <sighs> never mind. We're going to break my son out of prison? But Brock, he's evil. I mean, isn't that illegal? Technically, sure. But if we don't, Mr. Awesome is going to destroy us all. So what do you say you put some of that Malokio mind control to work and bust your son out of jail? Oh, man, I would love to, but I feel like if I backslide even a little bit with the old evil, it would be trouble. It's a slippery slope. Son of a bitch. Would you eat a cookie if you're on a diet? I would if it would save the world. I'd eat a cookie any day. He won the election. What are we waiting for? He told us to wait until he got back. Do if I don't bust some head soon, I'm gonna lose my mind. Will our heads do? Yeah, I heard you guys want some head. No! Well, well, well. If it isn't the Awesomes for Hire. We're just going by the Awesomes again, and you're in our house. <laughs> We're technically still available for paid work, though, if you know anybody. Sorry, I can't help with this jailbreak. I can feel some resentment in me knowing that if I use my mind control powers, it would be a, a lot easier, but as, as a good person, I, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Could you just stop talking about it? Hot wire, behind you! I would love to, but I'm overcome with guilt because I love you all, and it, and it just stinks not to be able to help. But how can I make it up to you? Maybe I'll just hypnotize you into not being mad at me. Oh, right. <sighs> I think that's all of them. Concierge, any luck with those schematics? He should be in cell block C, row 21. Let's go! Ready to get happy, baby! Whoa, Nelly! Oh, this is so embarrassing. Can I have a sugar cube? Mm, thank you. I'm disappointed, Sumo. I didn't think someone so big would run away so quickly. Stand still! How's this? Perfect. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Did you need these? My boob gun! Real talk, you look better without them. I'm sorry, what's your power? I, like, break codes and stuff. So, strength-wise, I'm a terrible matchup for you? Yeah, I was kind of hoping I'd square off against Concierge. She's back at Proc's mom's house running things. Bummer. Tell you what, if you jump in the water and just swim away as far as you can, we don't have to do this. Thanks. So now what? Hey, dude, I don't know who you think you are, but there's one of you and five of us. Dude? Dude? Excuse me? I am a 47-year-old female super f***ing miracle, okay? I am a fearless, sneaky ninja, okay? I can get in and out of anywhere and everywhere, and not only that, under all of this, I look like what Beyonce wishes she looked like. Oh, and one more thing. I helped Hotwire escape, and I was only coming over here to see if you needed my help breaking Perfect Man out. Okay? But you're one of the new awesomes. Why do you want to free Perfect Man? Because while they were making their evil plans, all I could think about is how much I wanted to get with Perfect Man. In a sexual way. Good to have you aboard. Total number of people? I think it's around 7 billion, give or take. Sure, sure, some of them are kids, but they won't stay kids forever. They'll grow into a labor force, I promise you that. How soon will it take for you to get here? One whole year? No, no, of course, it's a different galaxy after all. Well, I'll just have to figure out something to do with them until then. Okay, say hi to Smork for me. Thanks for patching me through, fellas. Who are you talking to? Even if you knew, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. I just try to relax and take what comes. There he is. Get that mask off his face! Dr. Malocchio, he took the serum. He's evil now. He's my son! Glinda, please! Okay. My boy! My beautiful boy! <laughs> that really hurt! Oh man, I'm sorry, Dad. Wait, you're not dead? He's a ghost! I know your blood is telling you that you're evil, but look in my eyes. I am your father, and I'm telling you that you are the best person I have ever met. Hey! Not now, Mom. Okay. Hey, what happened back there? I thought you were convincing him. The moment he realized he hurt a family member, the good came back. But only for a moment. The serum is just too strong. Back to Austin Mountain? Yes, and let's hope the team is doing okay. That was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> we were only supposed to keep you busy. Keep us busy until what? Until you're back. Until who gets back? Now, let's say we find out how awesome you actually are. Hold on a second, Mr. Awesome. Until who gets back? Concierge, give us an update. Brock, what are you doing? You just ran a yellow light. Mr. Awesome just got back. We'll be there as fast as we can. Oh, I hope they can hold him. The big boy. Oh, come on, Arlene. Give it up. All your friends are out of commission. Oh, when you're as old as I am, you have no shortage of friends. And acquaintances. Not a safe I've met yet that can hold the fire plug. Well, we better get this over with. This looks familiar. I think we're close. It should be the next right. Wow, that's my brother. So I did with both? We don't have to talk about that. We don't ever have to talk about that. I'll meet you there. Did this need so cool? What in the? Can't hold it much longer. Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> if that's the best you've got. No, the best I have is a distraction. Oh, come on! I dated this man for 14 months, and I'm almost positive he doesn't know my first name. It's Catherine, you son of a bitch. Oh, 
Oh, man. That stress reduction pod really hit the spot. Hey, Betty. Catherine. Proc, where am I? What happened? Mr. Awesome is evil and he froze you in that pod. But I think you'll be okay now. Frozen? That explains the crazy dreams. Proc, I dreamt that you and I were brothers. You know, all this time I've been trying to find my family. But you actually gave me a family. You gave us all one. You brought the new Awesomes together and for some reason you let me be part of it. I never gave you a single reason to call me a friend, but you brought me in. I've been meaning to say this for a long time. Thank you, Proc. There's something else I have to tell you. You don't want to tell me about a dream now, too, do you? Because it's really boring to hear about someone else's dreams. I'm not going to tell you about one of my dreams. Thank God. So what's up? Mr. Awesome is your father. You're my brother. No way. <laughs> Should I start a crybaby chant? Not now, Mom. Okay. How about now? We have the blood. Now all you have to do is get him in a position where we can administer the transfusion. And perfect, man. There's one more thing. Trust me? I trust you. I was here earlier. If you go down the hall about 100 yards, there's a vent that leads straight up and... That works, too. Guys? Guys? <laughs> Well, I'll give you this. You didn't stop me, but I can't remember the last time I broke a sweat. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Dad! Remember me? Apologies for the turbulence, but it seems we flew through a superhero fight. So did you get the blood? We did, but it's not gonna do us any good unless Perfect Man can pull this off. Duck! Duck! Goose. Ah. I've spent my life trying to figure out who I was and you knew the whole time? It was for the greater good. The world wasn't going to support a hero who had multiple children out of wedlock. Tell that to the NBA. I did it for the country. You did it for the same reason you do everything. You did it for yourself. No! Syringe, please. <laughs> Very impressive. I guess I am getting old. That's the first time anyone has beat me. Thank God I have this. It's loaded with the Destroyo bullet. Perhaps you've heard of it. The personal massager concierge keeps in her nightstand? No. And what were you doing in my nightstand? This is the only bullet strong enough to stop me, so therefore, the only bullet strong enough to stop you. Now, hold on. Dad, no. I have plans. Plans that I'm not going to let anyone stop. Not any of you heroes, and certainly not any of my sons. <sighs> Perfect man, are you? <laughs> it's over for perfect man. But don't be sad. I died amongst friends. And I died knowing I had a brother who loved me. <coughs> no, what have I done? Dear God, what have I done? He's my son. I've killed my son. <laughs> <laughs> The evil, it's gone. I'm back to normal, but it's too late. I killed Perfect Man. Psych! Marco! But how? I shot you with the Destroyo bullet. No, you didn't, because this is the Destroyo bullet. You shot him with the decoy bullet. Ha <laughs> ha! You're always so good at making decoys of things. Yeah, and you and Mom were always so good at throwing away my beloved possessions. I never understood why you wanted those little plastic knickknacks. Those are my asthma inhalers. I don't understand. Fill them in, Procky Doo. Well, I knew we couldn't let my dad get his hands on the Destroyo bullet, and I've been making decoys for years. So I crafted a decoy bullet as fast as I could. No one knows who guards the Destroyo bullet, but I assumed they would be crazy to pick anyone other than Joyce Mandrake. When the election ended, Proc called me and told me Mr. Awesome would be showing up soon. But before he showed up, I did with the decoy bullet that Proc had me run over. But that only gave you the bullet. How did you know what he would do with it? I didn't. I just knew that I would need the real bullet if there were no other way to stop my dad. But at the same time, I couldn't imagine hurting a family member no matter how evil he had become. When I saw Malokio Jr. let his guard down after hurting his father, I realized that I needed Mr. Awesome to do the same. So he told me to get Mr. Awesome to use the bullet on me, which would give me an opening to inject the blood. Meanwhile, I planted a bomb in Awesome Mountain. What? You weren't supposed to do that. Huh?
Brooke, that's incredible. You did it, son. I can't believe that worked. Ah, it was easy. <sighs> Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I swear to god, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, push up together, push up together, together, together. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and besides, it had to work. Stop. I think it's time for a big old awesomes hug. Let's bring it in, everybody. Mm. Get in here, Dad. You hit contacts, then start typing the name. Oh, look, it comes right up. Italy is so beautiful. It better be. Most of my family can't go back to America for the reason of that they would be arrested for their criminal times. Brock, it's the president. <laughs> Madam President, how are you? I hope there's not a problem. The only problem would be you not enjoying the one-year anniversary of saving the world and income inequality. Really got to do something about that. Uh, that's kind of you to say. Oh, and... I sent over some expensive wine, but for some reason, the only credit card we had on file was Impresario's. The fuck? Enjoy! I'm jealous of you, son. Seriously? Why is that? I'm the most powerful hero on Earth, but you have the one power I don't. Connecting with teens, right? So rad. You make families. When the Awesomes fell apart, you refused to let it die and found just the right people to make it work. When I robbed you of the chance to have a brother, you went out and found one on your own. Malokios and Awesomes have been fighting for decades, but thanks to you, we're family. You created a place where perfect man could come out of the closet. Mm. Ah. Whoa. Mm. Oh, those wow. nunchucks in your pocket? <laughs> oh. oh, they are. Oh, that's actually a woman. A 47-year-old black woman. Get the hell out of here! But most importantly, you did all of this despite having a father who wasn't worth a damn when it came to being a parent. No man is perfect. Oh, no. Did I hear my inverted name? Hey, perfect man. We're actually kind of having a moment. Cool. I should get back to SBD anyway. What did I tell you about walking away when we in the middle of our nasty business? Ha-ha. <laughs> I'm not joking. Do you ever think back to when you were evil? It's all so blurry. Sometimes I think my plan had to be more than just being president. What was it that I was trying to do? Mr. Awesome, we have finally arrived to collect the humans you have promised us. I just remembered.